What you doing, bud? Look at this setup right here. <laughs> With the hoodie. This weather has been bipolar as hell, but I'm not mad at it. It's not steaming hot. It's not freezing cold. But uh, is that a pause? Steaming hot? That's borderline. Welcome back, YouTube gunners and subscribers, my beautiful people. Kind of got to figure out how to record the next few things. So I do kind of need like someone like Seb here so they can help me with the airbox mod, which is what we're doing now. Also, that k and filter showing up today, but a little bit later in a day. So how can I utilize my time today and still pump out some good content and move forward on this car? I think I found the solution. Wheels and tires are upstairs. Thank you so much to Koenig. Thank you so much to Elite Garage for helping out with this project. I'm going to bring those down. Hopefully I get the text from enthusiasts that I can bring the wheels and tires there, that it's a go, and we can mount and balance them there, bring them back here, and see how it looks on the car. So without further ado, I know you guys are loving that we're pumping out these vlogs. I'm loving the positivity in the comments. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please share the channel. We are grooving. Let's try to at least get to 70K by the end of the month. We've got almost a whole month to do it. So help me out. Share the channel. Tell a friend about it. We do some real fun stuff here. And we are going to give this car away on this channel too. So I love you guys. Welcome back. Let's start gunning. All right now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. All right. All right, guys. Yep. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. Okay, boys. You got something to say for it? Yeah. Hi. So, a little BTS happened yesterday. Ended up uh, cleaning the engine bay. Looks really clean now. Look at that. Got rid of all that gunk that was there. I did my absolute best. I put the new serpentine belt on. The last one was shot. So I ordered that one from Honda. I put the shield back on. And guys, I changed so many bolts on this car. Anything that was rusted. As a matter of fact, let me not bore you. Let me get the car all the way up on the lift. And let me just show you a little bit of what I did yesterday in order to prep this car a little bit more. So I ended up changing one hose and putting the skunk one on and it's not that easy. The top one, forget about it, I left it alone. My what, what I was suggested from Brad was when the winner or if I were to change and the manifold would have to come off, that's the best time to get this monstrosity off. It doesn't even fit in the lens. Look, look how long this thing is, pause. Jesus Christ, you hung like a horse, my boy. You hung like a horse. Um, skip that on that, because that was gonna be a nightmare. Just drop that. Also, winner, future winner, boy or girl, male or female, throttle body came in with the adapter so you're golden when it's time for you to put this on the car you have everything that you need the gaskets in there everything here yesterday i just swapped out a couple of clean tens you know i tried to put as many as possible on here you've got all those there but uh we're looking great i'll tell you one thing though What's stealing, what's robbing this car from the bottom is this control arm right here. I won't lie, but the bushings are great, so I'm not touching it. Um, same thing with the front. What's robbing this car from looking incredible underneath? <sighs> Fucking lighting, man, come on, help me out here. Is that, also, uh, thank you for the suggestions on the bump stop. I'm gonna be able to put those bump stops. They come in today also. So I was instructed to lower the subframe a little bit, unbolt it from here on the rack, and then stick the spacers in right there. So it was, it was, it was highly suggested to do that. I'm going to take care of that 
And at the same time, I'll be able to clean all of this right here. All of that's gonna be nice and mint. But just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on um, what I did yesterday behind the scenes. So let me get those wheels down. Boys and girls, we've got rubber. Real huge shout out, huge to Elite Garage. Has been helping me for years with tires. Thank you so much, my brother. I love and appreciate you. I want to give you your flowers while you can smell them. We've got the R, um, the RT660 Falcon Azenas. Same tire on Manolo. Fell in love with them racing that car and just wanted them for this car here. So in the front, we have a 225. This is my spec. This was a spec that I got from a bunch of different S2000 guys. Some people will run a 215 in the front. I decided to go with a 225, 45, 17. Now for the rears, same tire, 245, 40, 17. Now the reason I'm emphasizing on sizes is because it's very hard to get specs from people nowadays, right? Giving you a spec. You got 225s in the front, you got 245s in the rear, car is rear wheel drive, and then we have our wheels here. 40, you ready? Yeah. Dale. Another huge shout out to my friends over at Koenig and my boy Scott. Always believing in me, thank you so much. So, 40, parate. The rears are wider, obviously. So we went with a 17 by nine in the rear and then a 17 by eight in the front. Dale, nena. Dale, nena. Heavy. Flow formed. Heavy. Heavy. Just rip it. Just rip it. Just, just rip it open. Just rip it open. Yeah, just rip it open. Oh, here it comes. Pause. Dale, nena. That one. Like here. You gotta oh, take this off. Oh, oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So we've got ourselves um, 17 by nines in the rear, coning hypergrams. 40, perate. Uh, no, we, we have wheels in the back. I wanted to see how they mounted up real quick. Um, What a nice wheel. What a nice wheel. So. I kind of wanted to keep the theme like all silver and then I've got my lug nuts that are coming in that are going to be silver but these are the Hypergram um, Koenigs um, 17 by 9 again in the rear 17 by 8 in the front so let's head over to Enthusiast I got a great message from Zeus he says Br this is the message bring them park the Bentley my guy park the Bentley in the back we got we got three machines in here 40s bike, Silver Surfer, and old boy. Okay, so rims and tires are loaded up. We're gonna make our way over to Enthusiast and hopefully get these mounted up and maybe get them on the car today and see how that ride height's gonna be. So 40 is prepping his bag, I don't know why. You got your phone? El teléfono tuyo, Mio. you got it? Okay, I'm gonna pull this car in and we leaving. Me and the boss Dawn. <laughs> Me and the boys done. Okay, we are on a cross county headed towards uh, Enthusiast. They also have a separate shop where they powder coat and do obviously mountain balancing of tires. So heading over there, guys, let me give you some bad news. We're about three weeks late. Three weeks ago, they had the new 992 GT3 RS there. And boy, was it beautiful. I heard that the gentleman that bought that car paid $250,000 over sticker. Can you believe that? Um, but it would have been a treat to get that on camera. I'm pretty sure we're going to see some incredible cars there. Over there at Enthusiast, they're always, they're always up to no good. And um, I'm excited, super excited to see what machines they have there. So bear with us. We should be there in about roughly 15 minutes. Me and the boss down. You hanging it? Nah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Working, working. 
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The monkey, the monkey coming. Hurry up. Yo, that story is crazy. One day I'll share it. Give me the money. Monkey in the corner. The monkey in the corner. Yo, let me run this light real quick. Yeah, hold on. You got that on camera? I bet. So, we're roughly uh, less than a quarter mile away. The, bar, here. Uh, the peach and uh, ceiling. The cheat dog, cheat dog. <laughs> the cheat rock. What he used to sell give cheat, me, give me. cheat rock as, uh, you know <laughs> what? And he, what he used to say? Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> The monkey. No, but now, no, no. No, ma. The, the cat in the corner, the monkey. The monkey. No. No, let me show my boy some love here. I, I think I got this car last time. I think. Man, that thing looks good. Shout out to you, my boy. That's beautiful. Right hand drive. Kill it, my boy. Um. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's in this garage. I mean, we just got here. I mean, we literally just got here and it's about to go down. I know I know there's some shit in there. All right, boys and girls, we gotta get in there. We gotta get in there, yo! We gotta get in there, let's unload. What's up, my boy? Chilling? Let's get it. So, these are the gentlemen. What's up, my boy? Chilling? Anybody you wanna shout out? You gotta, I know you gotta have a shout out. For who? I don't, make it count. Shout out performance. There you go. Any shout outs? Shout outs. To yourself, my boy. <laughs> so I, I left the AK-47 wheels here a couple of weeks ago. They are tedious to get through because we're searching for that real bright 24 karat gold, right? Yep. I also left them the diffuser. I'm trying to have that 24K look. So obviously we have to polish first. Yep, we want that nice bright finish underneath. Uh -huh. So this way when we do do that transparent gold that's on top, it's gonna pop. Most expensive wheel you ever worked on, go. Uh, probably Pagani's. Pag Pagani? Yeah. yeah. You worked on a, there yeah. was a Pagani here? Yeah, well, they, uh, we work with a lot of dealerships, oh. so they'll send our, those wheels in. Um, so we get to work on some pretty exclusive stuff. Hell yeah, yeah. man. And this place is like a one-stop shop, man. You can powder coat, tires. I'll leave their information. I'll probably leave like a... Uh, your phone number or your or your social media on how people can get here and get some stuff done. Sounds good. Really clean work. Look at Juice. Yo. You play for the Yankees? Oh, I miss you, man. Hold on. On Juice, show me something. Pause. R8. Yeah, that R8 is beautiful, man. Fully stealth. You guys did a PPF yeah. on it? Oh my yeah. goodness. That was originally glossy black. Oh my. It looks like the Batmobile. Yeah. <laughs> what wheels are those? Those are the new ones that come with those with the Audis. Wow. Nah, that's a fire wheel. Look at those. Look at the rotors. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's some shit right there. Come on, Juice. Yeah, rubber stems is perfect. Yep, yes, sir. Let me get some. I know he's got some dope stuff in here, real quick. Oh, my God. This is the one with the little duck bill wing. My boy. What's up, kid? I see you got the soul glow on. I see you got the soul. God damn. Wow, this, nah, this thing is fire, bro. Holy smokes. Uh, you guys remember this car right here from Lime Rock? This one's a unit right here. GT500, you like it? I don't know. I, that's a special truck, bro. That, my favorite part about that truck is that spoiler it has, bro. The wheel, the whole. It, yo, not for nothing. I'm gonna say something right now and then just picture it. Remember the cartoon Darkwing Duck? Mm -hmm. Doesn't this remind you of yeah. like, I don't know why, like a like Darkwing Duck um, for some reason. What happened? Hey, what's up? How you doing, bro? You doing, Good bro? to see you. Good? Yeah, what a nice car, man. Then you got the new Z06, right? Yeah, that's the new Is this the car that they tried to mark up like 100 grand everywhere? Stealth? You're gonna, uh, nah, that's gonna be clear to you. Wow. What's the tag on this? What? 140? And that's that. That's not even what. It's so for. It's so for more. It's definitely. So this car right here, they're marking up. Yeah. It must be an incredible car. Oh, yeah. It has to be. It sounds really good. It sounds crazy. Wow. 137 on the sticker. 
basically 140 grand, and I'm pretty sure the markup has got to be at least 50, 60. Call it 200 grand for a Corvette? I don't know, in the comments. Are you paying 200 grand for this? This is almost 200 grand, right? Or the truck. So this one's going from gloss to stuff. Yeah. Everybody loves the stuff. Love it. Yo, stuff? You think stuff's ever gonna get played out? No, no. way. It's just getting more and more popular every day. No way. Yeah. Everybody's doing stuff. Yeah. Even if it's like a stealth white, right? They have yeah. like a flat, like a matte stealth white. white. We have the silver, the Dodge SRT right there too. You did it stealth too? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Gloss. I don't know, man. Do you touch a gloss black luxury car? It changes the whole car. It does. I ain't gonna lie, it, it makes does. It look more mean. All the body lines, they just show more, you know. And it protects the car at the same time. It looks like you have a new car. Wow. I would probably, I'd probably wait like two years so it could come back like, oh, my car looks new again yeah, yeah. before you get tired of it. But some of these guys, they bring them right from the right dealer from the to you. Yep. They don't even rock the original color, no. which is crazy to me. Wow. Let me go check out, what is that, a Charger over there? A Stealth? That's our uh, Red Eye. That's a Red Eye? Mm -hmm. That's a Red Eye. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's mean. This is every, uh, everybody's favorite car in Atlanta. Now nah, I gotta see this interior. Go ahead. My boy bragged about it. Peanut butter? Nah, this is a beautiful thing, man. Look at the carbon. I knew we were gonna get a treat. Yo, that's a two hundred thousand dollar hat. Yeah. You see it? That's a two hundred thousand dollar hat. Oh my god. Wow. What a nice truck. I swear, I never thought I would like Aston Martins are hit or miss. You know, because they're they're like in the same company as Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche. And there's a few at like a DB9 R is incredible, but you would pass on the other, right? Like a DB7 you wouldn't take. When it comes to the SUVs, in my opinion, Aston Martin killed it. I think they're I think they're number one right yeah. now. I'm taking this before the Lamborghini Urus. Sure. For some reason, 100%. I think like the Lamborghini Urus is hoard out already. 100%. Everybody's got one. It just looks it looks amazing. No, it's and beautiful. And the details oh my in this car are just like look at yeah. the speakers. They're all leather. No, nah, that's that's beautiful, bro. What a beautiful car. God bless whoever. <laughs> oh, look at me on my set. Look at me on my set. Shit. Wow. They look great with the tire, bro. Hell yeah, right? It kind of looked a little too clean. Wow! That looks great. Is this a front or a rear? Uh, this is rear. And I believe this might be front. Oh, front, front, and that's a rear. Wow, nice. Yeah, it's rear. Yep. Rear. My boys tape everything up nice and clean. Oh, he did the balancing already? No, there's another one. Oh, I'm about to say, you're a monster, bro. Man. Tony, you yeah, outdid yourself, me. You yeah, outdid yourself, buddy. What a machine. So, I seen a guy on YouTube. That, that has a pretty big following and he uses this machine and he puts like a like a GoPro. So this is one of the best machines. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the cleanest. It keeps the tire away. You saw that we take the tire, you know, the wheels yep. up, protect so the tire doesn't rub on the wheel itself. It doesn't but grab it from the inside with those jaws, two yep, paws. Yep, those, we find that some wheels actually crack because of that. Really? Some of them provide just enough pressure, but yeah. we see the wheels, uh, you know, stretch and crack. And you're playing with a lot of money with some of these wheels, because you guys do what? That's, Bugattis, Aston yep. Martins, exactly. Porsches, and, and all of that counts, right? Well, of course. I mean, it's you want to do it once, you want to do it right. Hell yeah. You know? I'm a firm believer in that. So three tires balanced. My boy is killing it. One left, and we're pretty much done here. 
but check out the way this machine works right here. Oh, that's so dope. Whatever your tools are, is what you are. How we looking, Forty? We looking good? Oh, yeah. Uh, heavy, heavy duty. Yeah. All right, so three done. One should be rolling out any minute now. And uh, let me just get my debit card and square up with these gentlemen. Yeah. Wow, very surprising. Thank you so much, the performance. Um, They didn't even want to charge me. I kind of like begged them to try to pay something. He said, don't worry about it, Aki, it's on the house. Thank you for everything. And... Uh, Wow, great people. So I'll I'll leave their information in the description in case you guys are around, in case you want to try somebody that's a little bit different. They're here, they're available. 55 Plain Street in New Rochelle. Um, wow, very surprising. I, I really wanted to pay. I ended up just tipping Falcon uh, for taking care of my wheels and tires and that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last time I drove through here, there was a Unicorn Integra. It's somewhere, I think it's that house. It was a four-door blue Integra. Hopefully I can get that on camera, Forty. Hopefully, because super rare color. I think it was a 2001 four-door Integra. Hopefully. In the next clip we see it. You know what? Let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. I saw it and I was like, man, I wish I had my camera. All right, so nobody's behind me. Oh, I think, yep. I think that's it. No, it was in this drive. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Look how mint that car is, guys. It's an LS Integra. I wish I can get a close a closer look at it, but that thing is brand new. So last time when I drove through this street, I actually got to see it like a little bit, you know, closer towards the, sh the, the sidewalk. And boy, is it clean. So what I'm thinking is that's a sign to maybe leave a note on there, right? Imagine we pick that car up one day and just give it a blessing. But I don't know if I'll give that one away. That one's going to stay with me, guys. <laughs> I'll figure out somebody's house to park it in, but what a beautiful car. Huge shout out to Performance again, man. I still can't believe they didn't charge me for mountain balance, and they did such an exceptional job. Not a single scratch. Everything just went on money. Um, I wish I had the Skunk 2 lug nuts because we'll just mount the tires on for now and just leave them like that, but those should be here in a couple of days. Um, get to the garage. Let's see how these rims and tires look on the Silver Surfer. And um, keep kicking ass. You need help with that snake? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my peoples, we are back at the garage. Man, these look great. I can't wait to see how they look on here. But first, let me get these center caps on with these Allen heads, and then uh, maybe we'll start with the rears, right? Pause. It's good, pause. Center caps on. So I'm not gonna put these stickers on yet, guys. It's a little cold in here. So I'm just gonna wait for maybe a warmer day. I think it's coming um, maybe like Friday, Saturday, and then I'll be able to put these on. I just don't wanna risk it's so cold in here that I have to heat that up. So I'll just be patient. Oh, uh, that's good, Forty. Good. good, good, yup. So why not just put this front wheel right here now and um, go from there. So I've got my front set. They're directional also, so they're left to right. And um, I'm nervous, kind of nervous. I'm, I'm excited. I, I hope the fitment's right. Um, let me shut up and work. I mean, just take a peek already, right? <laughs> Oh my God, that looks so good right now. I just got two lug nuts on there real quick just to see it, but the fitment is money. I also got to remember the offset. I'll tell you guys that in a second. See if I can help with some lighting. That light is off right now, but give me a second. How are we looking so far, guys? How are we looking so far? <sighs> Look at that. Look at that, I'm getting my tripod ready right now for you guys. 
for the rear paws. Wow! Wow! I think I'm a little too tall. I think I'm a little uh, too high, I mean. Tall. I think I'm too high in the rear paws. So we've got the 17 by 9 with a 245 in the rear. So we're definitely going to have some grip. Um, let's see how it looks. Factory wheel off. And, and honestly, I love the stock wheel. So get this guy on. Is my rotation right? Please tell me my rotation is right. Bear with me. Yes, I lucked out. can't wait for those lug nuts to get here. I'm only putting two because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to move some stuff around. Um, mm. Maybe play with the ride height a little bit. But I'm also thinking this car was still kind of, I still needed a jack to get it off of the lift. It's so low. But it, the 17 might help. It might be a little, uh, a little taller. Yeah. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Okay. Wow. That looks great. 40. Yeah. Nice, yeah. right? Okay, so let me get to the other side. Um, let me swap um, that wheel. And then let's see how it looks on the ground. But I love the way that it looks so far. Let me give you guys a better view. Bear with me. We're looking good, guys. We're looking money, eh? It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. I know it's not going to move. All the way down, my brother. The emergency brake is on. Oh, look at that fitment in the front. So definitely I can work on the rear pause. It still might be a little bit on the lift. So I'll end up jacking it and uh, removing that. But look at this right here. This is what I was looking for. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Oh my God, that looks perfect. Yes, just above that fender liner. I don't know if that's going to hit. We're definitely going to have to drive it. But wow. Yes, that's the fitment right there. Thank you so much to Koenig. So let me see if I can um, jack the car up, get it off the lift. It still might be hanging on there. And then maybe we can take the car outside and take a better look at it. On the ground. On the ground, that looks beautiful. So the rear, definitely I can get a little bit lower than this. Pause. But, uh... I like it so far. So maybe a half an inch more. Just so whoever wins the car, whoever drives the car every day, doesn't have to worry about rolling the quarter panel. I do not suggest rolling the quarter panel on an S2000, guys. Unless you're going to keep it forever and you're going for that look, right? But for right now, definitely we need a toe adjustment. Definitely a camber. I like the in camber a little bit. I'm feeling that right now, pause. But um yeah. Good thing I good thing I raised those coilovers, right? Because if I would have left them the way that they were, right now I'd be stuck on the lift. I'd have to take everything back apart and then I'd have to basically unbolt the suspension just to raise the car back up and I would have been here all day. So, just a little preparation helped a lot. Helped a lot. Let's get it outside. that clearance right there so this side is pretty safe to take it off of the driveway and into the street this side on the other hand it's not it's not good this side is definitely gonna hit the fender 
So this side is, is a little bit lower than the other side. So I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna put the wheel straight, get you guys some footage real quick, and then, and then eventually go back onto the lift. And definitely, I, I'd like to raise both front sides, both of them, just a little bit. And then the rear might turn it down to about a half an inch on each side. But I like it. it looks aggressive, right? Look at that look right there. Damn, that looks money. Look at the camber in the back. Yeah, see the toe adjuster? Gotta get, it's gotta go in more. I could probably help that on the lift too. Sounds great, looks amazing right now. Wow, look at that look right there. That's beautiful. Oh my god, great choice on the wheels. Oh, this part's a nightmare, guys. <laughs> I won't lie to you, this part's a nightmare because I'm usually like, whenever I'm working on the cars, I usually just line up this mirror to just like right about here. And this car is different because obviously it's an S2000. So I have to jack the rear per side, pause, because I'm not trying to dent the exhaust. So I go on the subframe on this side, than the subframe on the other side. So, I feel so accomplished, man. I feel great. This back looks like it's starting to settle a little bit, right? I don't know, I guess when we first lowered the car, it looked a little bit higher. I don't know if I'm bugging or not, but it could be the angle of the garage too. But definitely the front has to get raised. And um, I'm, I'm gonna get this thing ready for Christian and Brad to a line, but oh my God, I wish this car can just stay just like this. Look at this look right here. I wish, but I gotta go up this much. Well guys, I am on a lift and I just need to just raise this car up to where that tire is gonna end about right here, just to be on the safe side. So if we can running it, if we can run it, a little bit more aggressive and as far as the spring rate like putting some tension on it I guess I'll know that when I speak to Brad and Christian but for the most part almost even here with the other side let's see how far up this side should be much yeah you see so this one is definitely uh, lowered so I have to raise the car I think I'm gonna leave the back alone I don't know if we actually got to see it it's settled in a little bit. So maybe leave the back alone, save that for alignment. Maybe we could have uh, Christian and Brad um, decide if we, if, if we are gonna be able to lower it. Again, the last thing I wanna do is roll these quarters, guys. They're perfect, perfect. So let me work on that real quick and then I'll show you guys what I come up with. So I ended up putting a green mark on where it was. You'll start to see it now right there so the other one on the other side I went up about four and a half threads this one I'm gonna go to about six and a half threads and it's pretty simple I'm just turning the sleeve it's moving everything's good but this side's done hopefully that raised it a little bit you'll start to see the green mark somewhere right about there so see if that works all right that's done definitely uh a distinguishing difference, right? Off the air. Looks like it's definitely got risen. Same thing with this side. So what I'll do most likely is just grab a quick measuring tape. Just measure this tire to that fender. It might change. It might be the same. It might be accurate or not. But just for peace of mind. But I think it's almost time to get onto the ground and see if this car actually um, got taller. I mean, I can't tell quite yet because I'm still on the lift, but I definitely look taller. Definitely raised it a little bit, this side especially. So, I don't know, that's pretty safe ride height, 
probably go down a little bit more than that. Let me see how it looks. Um, you know what I'm thinking too? I don't know if this would work. Would it? If I put wood under the tire, you think that'll give me enough distance to take the lift off? So I have to stop jacking it? Let's see, let me see if that works. Be right back. All right, let's see if I learned from my mistakes. About four pieces of wood on all four. Did I get lucky? Okay, Aki. What'd you have for breakfast, brain food? I don't know where I messed up, <laughs> but it looks like it's uh, just a little bit higher, but not much. Where did I mess up? I raised the sleeve up. That's to go higher. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Man, that looks so good. Okay. So the wood worked. Pause. Saves me a little bit of a headache. I just got to get this car back on the lift. I guess raise it a little bit more than that. But man, I, I don't know, man. That fitment right there looks crazy. Definitely, definitely raised it, right? So, um, tested it, well, measured the fender to this line here, and I was at three and a half. This one, I kind of put it up a little bit taller than that, so we'll see what happens. But um, let me get some wood on here. I definitely feel like I just raised it. Turning it just four threads, that didn't do much, so wish me luck. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Yep, got him. All right, we got taller, guys. We got taller. I don't have to take it off the lift. It's fine. Wow, okay, perfect. This side should be a little higher. Yes, perfect. Okay, I want the side to be a little higher because that's gonna basically be my reference point for the alignment. But we definitely got, we definitely raised the car Again, I can get a little aggressive and just maybe have it sit right about, bear with me, right about there. I'm missing some clips. Those are coming from Honda, so bear with me. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. This is safe to drive around with. Again, can definitely go a little bit lower, but it still has that aggressive look to where it is super low. I think... Uh, I think I can take it outside safely now without worrying about, you know, rubbing that fender on the driveway. So, do I want to take it back outside? I really don't. Let me think about it. Check this out. So this side, it's a lot of camber. So I could have actually, I, I almost nailed this side though. Like, the toe is not being bothered. Damn the lighting. Oh my God. Okay, this, this setup is way better. So maybe I can definitely help it by taking that rear tire at the top, getting some camber out, right? And then I kind of see it going in this direction with the toe. Maybe I could just bring the toe in right here and I'll, and I'll pretty much be almost even with that side. And that's not terrible for like a garage spec, right? So I was going to take the car out. This, this, is, this is a shit show here, bro. It's a shit show. So I like it. I'll probably get to adjust that rear. I don't know if you guys can see how bad that camber is right there. But it's, it's, I love the way that it looks. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know. You guys a little better angle at what I'm talking about here. You see that tire? Man, this, this lighting is terrible in this garage, bro. I don't know how much more lighting to put in here. Okay, a lot better. See that? And then right here. Kind of looks the same on camera, but definitely this one's much more in. So I can probably just end up moving that top camber a little bit out. Maybe about two rotations, it'll help it a little bit. Again, it's probably gonna get moved around in alignment, but 
stud. I'm, pre I'm, I'm very, very happy with this car. I love it. I love the wheels. I love the tires. The fitment looks amazing. Again, I can probably lower that a little bit more, but let me see how the front bumper looks when it's on. Let me just make it a real safe car to drive every day if need be. Gunners, that wraps it up. That wraps it up for another vlog. I hope you guys are happy with the information. I hope you guys were satisfied with this video. Again, um, so you won't, I, you will see me, but I'm going racing uh, with Manolo at New York Safety Track Monday, Tuesday. So basically, this is my last day of vlogging with this car this week. The next thing to do, because today's Thursday, the next thing to do is to get the um, airbox mod done. So I should, I probably have time to vlog that tomorrow. Let me see how my schedule goes. I got to get a haircut in the morning. I got to go pick up the filter. I got to make sure that I have all the, all the required parts for it. I got to wait for some more Skunk 2 stuff. Maybe behind the scenes pause, I can do the VTEC uh, solenoid. Um, I want to save the fluid video for you guys too. I'm just waiting for Saruti to link up with Seb so Seb can bring that down. But yes, the Silver Surfer has made a tremendous amount of progression in the last couple of days, right? We've been gunning, we've been working, we've been earning every dollar in our pocket. So again, um, June 8th, keepgunning.com you can join the giveaway i know a lot of you say hey aki um you know i owe you so much and uh and i appreciate it tremendously you know i love supporting you this is the time to support me when i do these giveaways honestly this is the bulk of my money this is what basically secures my future and and i don't I don't pull any shysty moves with these cars. As much new parts as I can put on these machines, I do. I risk my money. I buy the merch ahead of time, so it's not like a pre-order. I'm not using your money to buy the merch. I'm gonna have all the stuff ready to go. So Friday, June 8th, 6 p.m. on keepgunning.com, when we start the giveaway, your bags are shipping the next morning 200%. I don't hold on to nobody's money. I get your orders out right away because I want you to enjoy this experience. So I love you guys. Give me some positivity in the comments. Let me know what you thought about today's vlog. I think it was an entertaining one. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for supporting me. Keep gunning.